four seconds, can you beat the shot? With you waiting on little daddy, I ain't got that much. What is up, T gang? It is your girl naturally T. And as y'all can tell by the title, I am doing 10 times that you are in a toxic relationship or you are toxic okay so <laughs> um basically with all that being said i was like why not do this since i've had like a you know type of um relationship that can like relate to like other people i was like okay so i can do that as y'all see i got my lazy day shirt on yes because we still quarantining and i had let my bed too nice down I was like, mm, I ain't never with my hair like this on my channel. And I'm naturally T, so show the naturalness. <laughs> but yeah. So yeah. Ten signs that you are toxic or you're in a toxic relationship. The first one, you can't be happy for other people. So for one, like my friend that I had, I can give you an example. I got a new friend or something like that and she was like oh okay good you like but you can like you can tell that the person is not really happy for you so it's like dang like so for instance you get a job if you get a new job and you tell them they don't want to see you happy but they like they always want to be happy themselves so it's like um they get a job or whatever no you get a job and you tell them and then they feel some type of way or they not really um excited because you got a job like why can i get can i shine for a little bit like you don't always have to shine but you know like give me some type of second one um sharing so with sharing so y'all may not understand right now what i mean by sharing basically i'm saying like if you have a friend and you have other friends in a group. So, like, say we say so it's a group. And it's multiple of y'all. And y'all know it's multiple of y'all. But it's, like, two of y'all close. And that's you and your friend. And, like, but you have other friends that you had to talk to. And they don't like to share. They don't like you talking to other people more than you talk to them. Stuff like that. That is toxic. Because you can't do your own thing. You can't be your own self. You can't, you can't be open with other people because you're stuck under this one person. You know what I'm saying? And you don't want that. you like, I want to get out. I want to do something fun, you know? Talking or whatever. And, like, you feel some type of way because she's talking to somebody else. Like, don't do that. Don't do that at all. Honestly, I'm going to be honest. I did that before. Yep. I did that before. And it was basically because I feel like she was taking my best friend from me. That was it. That, that was the issue. But, yeah, I'm honest. I did it before. And I can say that I did that before. I noticed what I did, you know. But, yeah, like I said, I felt like she was taking my friend away. And I was like, oh, no. But, <laughs> next, number three. Constantly picking fights. So, I'm going to do friend relationship. So, relationship. Um... You and your boo, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, whatever. Okay, so this is you saw the phone turned upside down like this instead of like this sitting on the dresser. So like this. So side back. So you see that and you like, hold on, why your phone turned on? Like this kind of picking a fight because you know it's not that serious at this point. Yeah, so this with like in a like a relationship with a girl boy, girl girl, whatever, so like that. Like this that. But, like, friendship, so, so, like, one thing you can do to not, so, basically, with the whole thing of you, um, causing a fight or starting a fight or continuing, continually starting fights is that you want some type of attention, and if you want attention, ask for it. Don't continue to just do crazy stuff, so, don't try to cause situations all the time. It's not, it's not worth it. Number four. Um, cannot problem solve issues. <laughs> you cannot solve issues with your friend. You cannot solve issues with nobody. Um, with your boyfriend, your girlfriend. You can't, you just seem to cannot solve an issue with them. Which is going to cause issues with 
you because you're only hurting yourself when you do that because you sit here struggling because you're upset at somebody else. And this kind of that kind of goes with holding grudges with um towards people. I personally I have done that. It's not the best thing. Number five, manipulative. So in a relationship, if you know that if the well, if the boy knows that you will do anything for them, you will, you have done anything for them, that you love them dearly, they will do anything to try to manipulate you or say that they're gonna leave because they know that you're not gonna intentionally leave. Which is crazy. But and also with manipulation or manipulative people, they use people to get what they want. Which is bad because it's like, okay, you want something, why can't you just ask? Or why can't you, excuse me, why can't you treat someone with respect in order to get that? You get what I'm saying? Like, not just trying to take it out of your own usage and, and like, you have an advantage of taking someone's stuff. So you just do it. Like, that's not right. That's not the right way to do it. Because, obviously, it's not going to work out for you if you were doing that, you know? So, like, why, why do it? Number six, you're only going to someone just because you want something. So like, like this, if you're for, if, okay, so for instance, I give advice to my friend and like, you know, she takes it in or whatever. She's like, okay, okay. And then, so say for instance, the next day I'm upset about something. And I'm like, oh my gosh, girl, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Still like that. Like, Okay. You, that, your your other friend doesn't want to give advice to you or doesn't really know what to do. Like, that's really talk. How do you get and not give? There you go. Like, you have to either, you have to give to receive back. You know what I'm saying? And this vice versa. Like, you can't always accept something for yourself and not for other people. That's not, that's not how life is. Because other people in you are going to achieve goals and you have to respect that and you have to honor that you have to give advice to other people because they have given advice to you and you're saying oh i can't give you advice or you're not just really being there that, for that person it's like well dang like i give it my all to you why can't you do that for me you know so it's like <laughs> come on this friendship works two things in hand like can you work with me it's crazy seven the hurt people hurt people phrase. I know y'all heard that before. Comment down below if you have heard hurt people hurt people. It's, it kind of goes along with people that are mad or sad take it out on you. It kind of goes along with that. So if you take how you're feeling or how your negative thought, your negative thought process is at that moment, you take that out on someone else. That's not good for your relationship because they going to think, oh my gosh, you mad at me for no reason. Like, what have I done to you? You know, because, and that's because you're mad at somebody else, which you don't, you can't do that to other people. You know, it's like, come on, tell me what's wrong. This, this is like advice for y'all. Like, tell the person what is wrong. Tell them if you act a little funny or if you like say something bad or you say something wrong towards them, let them know because... It's not fair for someone to try and, like, make sure you okay, but then you just, I'm hurting, I'm hurting, you don't care, like, don't you see me trying to help you? Like, you know, but, like, the hurt people hurt people phrase, it's, it's real, you know? Um, I've had people do that to me like you know how they're they're in a bad mood so then they be mad at you and i'm like like are you okay help me help me understand that you're okay i need to know and is it me <laughs> i asked it so many times are you okay did i do something did i do something did i did i do something and it's like no you didn't do anything Okay, on to the next. Number eight, constant judgmental. So, always judging someone or trying to be little isn't intended to be helpful, right? 
slip in your sis. I can talk I can talk about someone's hair or something like that. I can say, Ooh, she got some short hair. Like, you think that's gonna better a person? Or you can say, like, ooh, she fat. You know, I got a little meat up. <clears throat> I'm sorry. <laughs> but I got meat on me too. Like, don't do that. Like, it's not right. Because the constant, like, you judge, judging your friend or, you know, like, ooh, checking. Checking is one thing that gets me. Because, like, okay. So, like, you know most of the boys be checking. I don't really know girls that check like that. I don't know. They be like, girl, you looking fat today? Or something. I don't know. I don't know if this really checking. I don't know. Comment down below if this checking. But most of the boys, like, like if you have, like, a boy best friend or a boy friend, not, not an actual boyfriend, but a boy as in a friend, like, they'll be checking you. Man, you look ugly. Like, looking. What? Like, hold up. Do not. Do not come for me, okay? Like, it's. Like, I don't know. It kind of comes off as rude when you're checking and being judgmental. Like, why do you have to judge someone? Like, if this really how you feel, you don't have to say it in a checking form. You just say it in real life and say it in a real way. You know? Say it in your real voice. You ain't got to check and be like, I'm just playing. No. You ain't playing. Like, to me, this, like, you for real. Like, this something you've been thinking all along. Number nine. So, dropping hints in other passive aggressions. So, like, my example. Mm, here we go. So I had a friend, okay. so I had a friend, and like, of course, y'all know that I'm in school. And like, so basically, we'll go to lunch, and like, they would be sitting at the table, chilling like villains, talking, communicating, laughing, joking, and obviously like that. But then I get at the table, it kind of get a little silent. And I be like, And I'm not saying the whole type of get silent. I'm talking about just one particular person. But we ain't saying no name. Past. Past tense. And, and have like a little smirk on the face like this. Like. I can't really do the face. Because. I don't know. It's kind of like a sneaky. Little vibe face. If you get what I'm saying. I can't really do it. You make the little face or whatever. And then like if I leave the table. Ooh. Start back talking again. Um, or like, or another thing, telling my, like, your other friends something and then not telling you. So like, they'll tell, they'll tell a friend how they, another friend how they feel about you, but they won't tell you. Okay. And 10, holding the relationship hostage. So basically like, when one person... Um, has like a simple blackmail or something. They like basically threaten like the whole relationship as a whole, you know. So, so like they would say if someone feels you've been cold, like been acting cold towards them, like having a cold shoulder, instead of them basically saying, "I think you have," I, or "I feel that you have that you've been acting cold towards me," or like you've been showing like a cold shoulder. They would say, I can't date someone who is cold to me all the time. Like, stuff like that. Like, why Why do you have to say that? Like, express the way you feel towards someone instead of just... Because this what happened to me. Like, I was like, dang, like, how do you not feel comfortable telling me something, but you tell everybody else? You know? And I'm like, you can't even tell me the reason why. So, obviously, there's not a reason. It's just you and you're a toxic person. You need to go handle your toxicities over left. Be real. Be honest. Tell me how you feel. Because if you don't, it's going to cause something else to happen. That is all for this video. That was 10 times to know that you're in a toxic relationship or you the one that's toxic. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like this video. Get this video a big thumbs up, Lord Jesus. Please give this video a big thumbs up. Um, Make sure if you are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe. Click the notification bell as well. Um, And also, this is the biggest deal. Comment down below. Comment down below. So without further ado, thank you guys for watching. Love you guys. And it's T-Gang all the way 2020, ladies. Bye.